never had to do that before. Um, never really had to do that before. You know, so um, we knew the game was going to be tough. We had a good opponent coming in the building. And um, we thought we did a good enough job practicing the last few days to be ready for it. But uh, they took us out some stuff early. Our timing was off. Um, you know, we didn't finish some stuff around the rim. Obviously, they affected that with their size. And um, so our decision making at the rim wasn't as good. We needed to execute a little bit better. And because of that, they got out in transition. They got some open threes. Um, some good guys got loose, and they found they found a tempo of the game they wanted to play at, which was faster than we wanted. We wanted to control the tempo a little bit better. Uh, so we played their game, you know, and uh, they shot it really well. You got to give them credit. So uh, tough one. We'll get back in the uh, gym this week and try to practice. You know, we got our whole team back now, and so hopefully we can learn from this and get better. How much practice time did you guys have so far? We practiced the last couple of days. Um, you know, so Brad and TJ practiced yesterday. That was their first practice in two weeks. So, but really not an excuse. Uh, I'm sure that has something to do with our timing. Sure, it has something to do with our win. But we still mentally we needed to execute a little bit better what we were trying to execute what we had talked about the last few days. So, again, we'll watch the film, get back in, and and uh, learn from it, and see if we can continue to improve. You know, we got everybody back in the. You know, back now we can try to find a, a rotation, you know, find some rhythm and find a rotation. We got everybody back now, so look forward to that. <clears throat> You know, it's really, typically you don't really know. I mean, you would want to say maybe that has something to do with it. You don't know. Um, without the layoff, you know, you still had a good opponent coming in that you had to really play well in order to, to, to beat them. You know, so, uh, again, I'm sure that has something to do with it. You don't know how much it had to do with it. Um, guys did look a little winded early. But that's, that's, that's what we're going through in, 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 in all college basketball. You know, teams are pausing and teams are not practicing and um, – the ACC got a policy. If you got seven guys, you got to play. And so that's kind of the rule we adopted. And so that's that's where we are. But the good thing is everybody had the virus. You know, all coaches, all players except one. So hopefully that means that we'll have a, you know, hopefully we'll have a couple consecutive months where we don't have to have a pause. Yeah, no, he, he's our, he's one of our starters. He just hadn't practiced, you know. And we've been practicing with the two bigs um, the last few days. So, you know, we really couldn't put TJ in the game plan. And so we just didn't feel like it was smart for the starter. Yeah, it's a good team. You know, you, you know, it's the highest level you can go. And so it's a lot of good teams you're going to play. So you got to really be sharp defensively. Um, you know, you got to make good decisions on offense. I thought we did get a better flow in the second half. We started to, you know, share the ball. We started to get second and third signs on offense. We wasn't shooting it quick. And so we got better shots, um, you know. But, but because anything was going to look better in the second half because the first half was so bad. We were down 29 points. He just had really he had a couple good practices and then again, you know, TJ wasn't around. And so he he heard the game plan. He knew what we were trying to do. So I felt like it was smart just to play him because we had worked on the stuff the last couple of days and, and he had good practices. He really had a good attitude maybe the last three weeks and he hadn't had an opportunity. You know, and so because he was in practice and he, he heard the game plan and he, he's had he's had good positivity, I felt it was only right to give him an opportunity. Um because he's made strides in the right directions, and and we need him to continue to grow and be a good player for us. Does that affect you defensively as much as offensively? It looked like you missed some switches out there. Just different things. It could have, you know, it could have. Obviously, you know, um, playing different lineups has something to do with it. But I, I really think a lot of our defense had to do with our lack of um, sharpness and offensive toughness. You know, they, they denied one pass and we gave up on what we were trying to do. So we ended up taking a shot with, without enough ball movement. Some of those shots were harder 
And so it turned in to be a turnover. You know, it wasn't a turnover, but to me it was a turnover. We only had eight. We had eight turnovers, but we probably really had 13 if you put five or six more shots in there. And so we needed to, we got to continue to mature to understand that as five people on the floor, we got to work together to really try to get a better shot uh, as a group, five working as one. Um, because I think a lot of our defense had to do with, you know, giving them opportunities to get out in transition early in the game. We gave them some rhythm and flow. And we got down big, and it was hard to recover. <laughs> when you have a game like this, also, you don't want to have to play too well to get the ball off the floor. What was your mindset for that? Just a mindset. You know, it don't matter who we play. You know, it's how we play. Like, we play any team on the roster, any team on the schedule. If you play like we played, I mean, we're not going to be good enough to win. We got to execute. We got to be sharp. We got to be better. Uh, you know, working to help each other get better shots. And then, and then we got to defend the way we're capable of. And so, uh, but that go hand in hand. So I, I just told him it's our mindset. You know, don't make excuses because we've been off. Um, you know, a mountain climber will tell you the mountain don't care. He ain't going to talk to you. He ain't going to say nothing to you. He ain't going to sympathize with you. The mountain would tell you, a mountain climber would tell you the mountain don't care. So for us, I mean, we got to understand nobody cares that we've been laid off. I mean, nobody cares that we've been off for the last couple of weeks. We got to get back in the gym and try to get better. We got five days um, to practice with the full group, so hopefully it'll be a great opportunity for us.